I guess I would join the whole fun. And as the years progressed, I slowly learned what I actually was. I'm queer, which just means I'm not really sure, but it's easier than just saying, I don't know. Did anything change when you came out? No, I, I'm really in like the closet when it comes to like the whole problem when it comes to like all that stuff. I've never really been out there. I don't know what people experience because I've never like worn it on my sleeve. How has this group affected you in the short time it's been around? I didn't know there were that many people. I just knew my friends and me and it kind of made me happy. I was always intimidated by these really awesome people who are really open and it's been nice seeing all these other people who support the idea. What do you hope this group will do in the future? I want to see it something, become something huge, like the, uh, the idea that everyone can follow, because I'm hoping we can make a change, even just a small one, for people to like, understand that people struggle and that not everything has to be the way it is when it comes to like, your sexuality. Why did you sponsor this group? Well, um, a student approached me this last summer about starting a proper GSA at Hayes High School. And um, we had one maybe even five years ago, um, but it sort of dissipated after some time. And so I approached uh, Mrs. Gillen and Ms. Dinahan, who were the sponsors of Care Club, which was really similar in a lot of its goals, uh, about reinstating a GSA at, at Hayes High School. So that's sort of the, the reason behind it. What has been going on at the first couple of meetings? Yeah, so we're just getting started and getting organized, and it was really important to us that it be student-driven and student-led. And so uh, we've really tried to just use these first couple of meetings to get a sense of what the students are interested in, what they need out of a GSA. And, um, and so we're sort of just gathering information, and we're going to just sort of start moving from there. How do you think this is uh, going to affect the students at Hayes High, both in the group and out of the group? Um, I mean, I think a GSA is a really positive thing at a high school. There's actually a lot of data around um, depression and anxiety and suicide rates amongst LGBTQ teens. And one of the first things that shows improvement uh, amongst those rates is the presence of a GSA. And so I think that um, that that's you know a no-brainer uh, from my vantage point. And I think that um, you know students who aren't uh, involved, you know, I don't think that they're necessarily affected really in either any in any way, except that the the people around them are are having a, a more positive experience uh, at school. What do you hope uh, for the future of this club? What do you hope will will be done during the meetings? Yeah, I mean, I guess I just hope that um, it's um, just a organization that's supportive of the students involved and that they um, get the, the support that they need out of the organization.